Six twelve. as we come back this morning. It's the day after the Oscars, and there's a lot to talk about this morning. So here to help us break it all down live from Los Angeles is ABC 10's Mark S. Allen. So, Mark, we have quite a bit of highlights to discuss. Quite a bit of highlights, uh, high points and low points last night for the 94th Annual Academy Awards. First of all, tribute to these three ladies. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, there was this great moment where uh, Regina Hall said that the uh, COVID test, there was a problem, and she essentially called up any attractive man that she wanted up on stage to go back for some private COVID testing. Uh, Amy Schumer took the stage after the uh, Chris Rock, um, Will Smith incident and said, Hey, the vibes changed here. Did I miss anything? Well, yeah, if by chance you weren't watching at that moment, you did miss something because it went down like this. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith. Yes, that really did happen. Uh, Chris Rock was up on stage, Kraken Wise made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith referring to G.I. Jane. It's a Demi Moore movie from the 1990s that I doubt most people in the auditorium even got, but it was a reference to her short hair. To put this into context, she has alopecia. It's why she's keeping her hair short this time. Will Smith stormed the stage, said something uh, that included an expletive, slapped Chris, went back to his seat, uh, and then repeated it again. My phone, and I think everything uh, or anywhere connected to this event started blowing up with people saying, was that real? Yes, it was real. It wasn't a staged bit. Um, interestingly enough, I, I might even be able to see it because some people have started to push photos to my phone. Uh, what you didn't see during the commercial break, uh, Tyler Perry and Denzel got up and started consoling. Will Smith pulled him aside for a little chat. Bradley Cooper did the same thing. Uh, and then he returned back to his seat and the ceremony carried on. He gave an emotional speech later. He didn't exactly apologize to Chris Rock. We're wondering if that's gonna happen in the future. In the meantime, let's talk about positivity. Uh, our hometown woman did great. Jessica Chastain, as predicted, won that Academy Award for Best Oscar last night. It was her third nomination. I knew it was gonna go down, so I had her give a preemptive speech. Take a listen. Uh, how are you feeling? I know that's cliche, but sum it up in a few words. I'm just really happy to be here to celebrate this moment. Our film that is like an earnest love letter to this woman. These incredible actresses in this category that I'm with. And also that I get to see everyone's beautiful faces without masks on. How We've been in such a dark, difficult time, in mean, forced isolation. And to be all together now, that's why I had to wear color. I want to celebrate our community and humanity. Last question, it's a quick one. There's some young person right now in music circus thinking this could be them someday. What do you say to them? Oh, I'll say everything that was at the SAG speech. Keep going, you're one job away. And, uh, you know, don't let other people define your worth. How great is that? Don't let other people define your worth. And I had that shout out to Music Circus because that's where she got her start. There's a young person right now at Music Circus thinking, can that be me? Indeed, it can be you. Uh, and also, she also often shouts out River City Brewing Company. That's the last place Jessica Chastain worked before moving down to Los Angeles. There you go. That's a wrap on the 94th Annual Academy Awards. Follow me on Facebook, Mark S. Allen Show. I'll take you back inside the Dolby Theater for some more behind the scenes action of what took place last night. Back to you. She'll have to come make a stop in her hometown so we can congratulate her in person. Mark, thank you for the updates. Love when your predictions are right.